the last croissant video, but I said I was going to be adding something new to my kit. And I don't know if you can tell already what it is, because it should, there should be something very obvious going on right now that you should be able to notice. If you don't, uh, maybe you just have normal ears. But I have added, drum roll please. Where's the actual box? I have upgraded the audio from my existing video mic me to the Rode NTG, so you guys should be getting way better audio right now. Let me show you the the uh, Rode video mic me. So, okay, why did I upgrade? Okay, well, a few different reasons. First, I wanted something that I could mount on this small rig that I have for the phone uh, a lot more easily. Beforehand, I was using this kind of adapter thing that I had to screw into one of the holes. Here, here it is. And then I had to use this thing and this isn't actually big, big enough for it, so I had to pinch it. And so you can see over time, it's began to like warp over and stuff. But I can take nothing away from this mic. This mic has been amazing ever since I got it. I've loved it so, so much. And I think you guys could have, you guys can tell the difference from the videos before. If you guys haven't, I'm gonna put a little annotation here at the top to check out one of my old videos without it. And then here is gonna be another one with the Rode Video Mic Me. I love Rode gear and it was between this one, the Deity and I think a Sennheiser mic. And I decided to go with this one because of, well, a bunch of different reasons that I'm gonna get into right now. All right, I guess so we'll go into a little bit of the nitty gritty of the microphone as I kind of just move it around here. So I'm gonna talk about what my previous setup was. Uh, I'm actually gonna put the review in the annotation above for you guys to check out as well. When I actually initially reviewed the first mic I ever got, which is the Rode Video Mic Me. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Cool, so the Rode Video Mic Me, I did a little review about this mic. I might do one about this mic as well. Let me know if you guys wanna see that in the comment section down below. So this one is just simple TRSS, I think. TRSS, yeah, three things. And then I also had this little cattail. I'm gonna be keeping these just, just for fun, I guess. I can also use it on my iPhone if I want to. These are really, really, they're really, really nice. They're pretty, pretty durable. But again, like I said, it's bending. I don't know if you can see that. But now I decided I want to upgrade the audio, make this a little bit better. And I want to kind of like slowly upgrade this system. And maybe eventually I'll get like another camera or I'll just upgrade the one that I'm using right now. So where did I get this mic? I got it at Tom Lee's initially. I was going to buy it on Amazon. Uh, it was on sale for about 300 and I think $40, but the shipping never came in. So I decided to cancel that order and I went to a local music shop here in Vancouver and I picked one up for uh, three, 329. 329 came to like 350, I think with taxes. And a few of the things that initially made me decide to go with the Rode NTG, cause there was a few options in this price point. Again, 300 something dollars for a microphone is, is expensive. Realistically, it is pretty expensive, uh, but there are a few different options. So we had the Rode Video Mic NTG, we had the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus or Pro, which is in about the same kind of area. And the new version of the Pro or Pro Plus, I forget which one, has a removable uh, lithium lithium ion battery, which this one actually does not. It just has a rechargeable battery and it recharges with a type C. On that type C note, you can actually use this one without an interface plugged right into your computer. So. For example, if you're doing like a, a video call and you don't have a proper microphone and the option is either just to use your phone or use just a computer microphone, which is not the best realistically, you can literally just plug this right into the computer and it can work without an interface, which is I think incredibly handy if you're doing maybe a quick podcast, maybe a quick voiceover. I'm doing these uh, cool little playlists where I talk about some of the music that's been motivating me. If I'm doing that on the go, this mic would be perfect. Like realistically, anything on the go when I'm shooting with my camera here, doing a vlog, doing a review like I'm doing right now, just working with something in the computer, doing a voiceover. We can, this is a normal boom mic, so I can boom it and I can, like if I'm interviewing somebody, this, I think this mic would be perfect. On top of that, it has 30 hours of battery life. Again, I said it's rechargeable, so you can replace the battery. So eventually I am gonna have to get another one. Rode has been doing really well with their lithium batteries. So I'm not too worried right now. Again, like I said, USB compatible. And another thing that this has, is a gain knob at the very base of it that you can just turn. Really, really handy. Being able to really dial in what you kind of need is it's cool. Actually, I think I'm gonna put in here, I did three different tests 
on the audio at three different volumes uh, with the V75 cutoff. Hey guys, we're doing a little test for the microphone. This is at 10 dB with a 75 uh, roll off. This is test number two at the maximum of 15 dB. Same thing, 75 roll off. And this is the same test at the same volume, saying the, almost the same things with a 5% dB boost. Yeah guys, and on top of it being really, really versatile with a bunch of different scenarios in hand, like vlogging like I am right now, just on my, just on the phone, I just got the Joby pod hooked up, Joby Gorilla pod, and I got the, the microphone on top here. It has this really, really nice shock man that comes with it, that is really good at denying any kind of clicks or taps on the microphone, like if I shake it a little bit, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but we'll check the audio. Uh, it's really, really good for that as well. Yeah, and I also got the cattail. The cattail is actually pretty expensive, but Rode makes some really, really, really nice cattail if I'm doing something outdoors, it maybe it's windy. Uh, I'm actually gonna be doing a set sometime pretty soon, so I might have to use this one because it's gonna be by the water. So, yeah guys. If you wanna see a more full length review on what I think of this mic, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Or if you wanna see more content, maybe some reviews, let me know as well. Either way guys, I will see you next time. Peace.